applied. Be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance, but as he which have called you is holy, so be ye holy in all matters of conversation. Mm. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. O oh God, to those who have ears to hear, know that there is a great value and benefit in your holiness. Part of our holiness is being blameless before God, being without fault, free from accusation, and standing before God in a state of holiness. It's being devoted to God, being separated or set apart. Holiness is a habit of being of one mind with God. The grace of God is a divine influence over your heart and a reflection in your life. God needs you healed. He needs you free from pride, envy, and jealousy, deceit, trickery, foolery, and malice. He wants to bring great wealth and great promotion, but he needs you to understand your true identity in Christ so that you do not define yourself by your past. We must die daily daily in order to create a cycle of holiness. In 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, meaning something that you have never been before. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Each day, God wakes us up. The opportunity wakes us up to have another opportunity to discover a new level of holiness that even the angels desire to look into. So we mustn't not allow anything to compromise our holiness. When we are in a state of holiness, we are more fruitful. We bring joy to ourselves and others. It gives us confidence in our walk and it creates a space for others to glean from us and desire to be holy also. Here are five benefits to holiness. God is after our soul and he is bringing about powerful, enriching, and supernatural anointing over our lives. One, he gives us abundance of gifts. Two, Philippians 1, 6, being confident of this very thing, that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. We are guaranteed success in God. Number three, John 4, 34 through 38. It reads, My nourishment comes from doing the will of God who sent me and from finishing his work. You know the saying, four months between planting and harvest. But I say, wake up and look around. The fields are already ripe for harvest. The harvesters are paid good wages and the fruits they have harvest is people brought to eternal life. What joy awaits both the planter and the harvesters alike? You know the same one plants and another harvest, and it is true. And here's our key scripture. I sent you to harvest where you didn't plant. Others have already done the work, and now you will get to gather the wheat. And the point here is we get the advantage plan to reap where we didn't sow. Jude 1, 20 and 21. But you, dear friend, must build each other up in your most holy faith. Pray in the power of the Holy Spirit and await the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
who bring you eternal life. In this way, you will keep yourselves safe in God's love. Point number four is safety and eternal life. Second Chronicles 7.14 If any man, if I'm sorry, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. Point number five, we get forgiveness and healing. Father, I thank you, Lord. I speak life over every person on this line and every ear that I have ears to hear. I pray a spirit of encouragement as we grow continually in the beauty of your holiness, that we will trust in the process of sanctification, that as we walk and be clothed in your holiness, that our families will be blessed, our homes will be blessed, our finances will be blessed, our health will be blessed, our ministry will be blessed. We know that in holiness, great favor is being released. Let us take heed as you has commanded it. Be ye holy as I am holy. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for your word, oh God. Hallelujah. You can take yourselves off of mute. Let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's receive it. Let's receive that word. Hallelujah. We receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you for your word this morning, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help us, oh God. Hallelujah. To go back and meditate, oh God, and, and study it, oh God. Apply it to our own individual lives. In the name of Jesus, let your will be done, oh God. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The benefits of holiness. My God, you're calling us, oh God, to a life of surrender. Hallelujah. A life of submission to your will. Hallelujah. And to your ways, oh God. Hallelujah. Hold us, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I received a message from um, someone, um, Sister Leah, actually. Um, she had a word from the Lord this morning, and I missed it, so I wanted to share with you. It's um, found in Proverbs chapter 4. Um, verses 20 through 27. This is the prophetic word, and then we'll read the scripture. It says, um, I heard God speak. Do not turn to, to the right or to the left. Keep my word. Pay attention. Healing and health comes from me. And then um, she gave Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 through 27. Let's take time to read that. Even though we have our devotion, thank you so much, Sister Stephanie. Hallelujah, but more word. Hallelujah is good. The Lord is speaking to us. He says, um, My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. For they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth and perverse lips. Put far from thee. Let thine eyes look right on and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be established. Hallelujah. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Hallelujah. Which confirms the word that he gave Sister Stephanie about holiness. Hallelujah. The Lord is speaking to his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can't live lives haphazardly. We have to live them on purpose. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. 